Bonjour mes amis, uh, comment allez-vous? <laughs> okay, that's all the French I can remember from high school, so that's all I got. Um, and thank you so much, Wendy, for the, for the introduction. Uh, when Francesca asked me to do this lightning talk, I was like, yeah, absolutely, I'd love to. Um, but I asked her, I said, aren't there other stories that are more deserving than ours? And you know what she said to me? She said, there are lots of stories to be told, and they all deserve to be heard. And this is why we have word camps. So it was so encouraging to hear her say that. And what I got from that is that for the WordPress community, no success is too small to celebrate. And I love you guys for that. Um, so how did the Harare WordPress community get started? Well, from the first time I started using WordPress, I quickly fell in love with it. And I just wanted to immerse myself in anything and everything related to WordPress. So that meant following WordPress blogs like WP Tavern. Uh, it meant keeping up with the WordPress news in my dashboard. You know, the WP admin uh, section of your website. So one day I was in the dashboard and I saw this article by WP Tavern, which was talking about a WordCamp incubator program. So I went to the article and basically it was saying that the WordPress community team wanted to try this program for the very first time where they'd help a city to have a WordCamp. And two of the criteria were it had to be a city that had never had a WordCamp before and where there was a lack of community or no WordPress community whatsoever. So I said to myself, yeah, Harare fits that description perfectly because we have so many WordPress users in Harare, bloggers, developers, designers, but none of us had a clue about the WordPress community. I mean, most of us didn't even know that such a thing existed. So I applied. I didn't have any expectations, uh, but to my utmost surprise, I got an email from Rocio Valdivia and Hugh Lashbrook saying that they wanted to interview me. So anyway, to make a long story short, in 2016, Harare ended up being selected as one of three cities to participate in this incubator program. And I got a confirmation email and an announcement email from Andrea Middleton. So we were ready to go. Uh, Rocio and Hugh Lashbrook, they scheduled a Google Hangout for me to do an orientation. Because for those of you that have organized WordCamps before, you know before you can organize a WordCamp, you have to have an organizer's orientation. So they just took me through the steps, the initial steps, like put together an organizing team, find a venue, set a date. But since Harare was a, since Harare was a special case, I had an a f extra preliminary step that I had to do before I could start organizing this, this WordCamp. So what was that first step? Get a meetup started. So the community deputies, they set up a meetup.com page for Harare and under the global WordPress chapter account. And uh, I got started. As you can see, there aren't that many WordPress meetups in Southern Africa. And it's kind of like a privilege to be one of the few. But sincerely, I really hope that other communities may be inspired by our story and, and maybe follow suit because I would love to see WordPress meetups spread all over our region. You know, I'm a WordPress evangelist, so <laughs> I'd love to see that. So I think people started signing up little by little, and by the time we had about a dozen members, I still hadn't scheduled a meetup. Why not? Because I didn't have anywhere for us to meet. I had no venue. I was asking people to help me out, no luck. So I just decided to, let me just do a social meetup at a coffee shop. Because the beautiful thing about WordPress meetups is we don't care about the location. You can meet anywhere. I mean, I heard Taco speak at a WordCamp London where he said, 
You can meet at your next door neighbor's house if you want to. So, you know, that, that's a real cool thing. So I said, I s- scheduled the meetup. I got one RSVP. And guess how many people attended? <laughs> one person attended. That one person was me. <laughs> so that was a disaster. But around about the same time, shortly after that, one of our new members named Charles Muzonzini, he sent me a message. He said, Tabo, I'm with, the wor- I'm with the Computer Society of Zimbabwe, and we would love to partner with you. So I was like, yes, because, you know, I need all the help I can get. So he set up a meeting uh, with the executive director himself and another member of the Computer Society, and it was a very productive meeting. It was very informative for them because I explained to them about the WordCamp incubator program and what we were trying to achieve. And from that meeting, they ended, the Computer Society ended up giving us a place to meet for our very first meetup. And that was on August 20th, 2016. Can you tell how excited those people are? <laughs> so we were very excited. It was an awesome day. Um, I had two primary objectives, to talk about the incubator program and to put together an organizing team. And I, we accomplished those objectives. And I feel like this is the turning point for the WordPress community in Harare. So it was awesome. And we went ahead. We got started organizing. People were so enthusiastic. And the big day came December the 10th at the Harare City Library. Word Camp Harare. We had the f- very first Word Camp in Zimbabwe ever. I mean, it was awesome. We, and the, the thing that was even more awesome about it was so many people talked about it. So many people supported us. People from the neighboring country in South Africa, they were tweeting about it. And we didn't know so many people cared. So we, we, it, it really touched us, the love and support that we got from the WordPress community. And we, we, had, we had some special guests. We had two automaticians from South Africa. They came to speak, uh, Herman Koch and Job Thomas, who since they've become good friends of mine. And, I mean, it was just so eye-opening. You know, particularly them, they gave us talks about automatic. Can you believe so many WordPress users in Harare had never heard of automatic? So, I mean, it was enlightening for us, and we built relationships, we connected, and it was so awesome. So how have we been doing since then? Well, now, our meetup, the last time I checked, we had almost 150 members. We meet once a month. I try to keep it consistent. We meet the last Wednesday of every month. Oh, and now we got a venue sponsor, so so that's even more awesome. Uh, One of our members arranged for this creative hub co-working space to give us a venue, so no more venue problems. And that's one of the first meetups that was held at Moto Republic. This is a meetup where we were invited to a private school called Hellenic Academy. Uh, One of our members works there, and he said, we got this media club, and the kids want to redesign the website, and they want to use WordPress. So could you bring the meetup to our school? I said, yeah, of course. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really passionate about sharing what I know and my experience with WordPress. So I just want to leave you with one sort of like revelation that I had that came from getting involved in the community. To contribute to WordPress, you have to be a coder or developer. Eh, wrong answer. That is so not true. The fact of the matter, what I've come to realize is that there's so many different ways for you to get involved. And that's one of the things that I try to, that's what I've learned. That's one of the things that I try to share with my community back home, that, you know, anyone and everyone can can contribute to the WordPress project. I want to really thank the WordPress community team for taking a leap of faith and giving us a chance and It's you guys that helped build the WordPress community, as a matter of fact. And I really wish that you guys would continue with that program, because I think so many underrepresented areas in the world will benefit, because, I mean, if Harari can do it, anybody can do it. So I got a few seconds left. I just want to do, like, a little shameless plug. (laughs) Uh, WordCamp Harare 2017 is happening on the 4th of November at Hellenic Academy. If you are able, please sponsor us, uh, please support us. E- even, even better than that, please come and join us. It's going to be an awesome time. And I, I, I want to thank you all so much for letting me share our story. You guys have been great. Thanks. <laughs>